皆さんこんにちは、えー、監督を務めました神山健二です Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kenji Kamiyama. I'm the director of the film. Thank you. 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 We're so thrilled to have Mr. Kamiyama here with us today. Thank you for coming directly from the opening of your film in Japan. We really appreciate it. My name is Maria Cristina d i a z n a r and I'm the programming director here at the New York International Children's Film Festival. We're so pleased that we could share this film as a closing night with you all, and we're so thrilled to have him here. We always like to encourage you all to share your voices with us, whether that's through our balloting process or through our Q&A. So we definitely want to give you time to pose your questions.、Um, and while we get started, we're going to sit down with Mr. Kamiyama and have a few questions and talk about the film. But please, we have mics on either side, so we encourage you to think of your questions and pose them directly to him. So please be seated, and we'll、um, start the chat. Thank you. So, just to start a bit, I really love the fact that this film has wonderful female protagonists, that we have a princess who's a coder, that we have、uh, this amazing focus on、um, this history of strong female leads. And、um, I'm just very curious about your inspiration, basically, for this story and these、um, protagonists. あのこの作品を作るときにですねあのプロデューサーが、えー、自分の娘に、ねえー、メッセージを送るような作品を作ったらどうだという、えー、アドバイスをくれてそれがきっかけです。Uh, the inspiration was that when I was making this film,、uh, one of the producers said to me, How about you make a film that could be a message for your daughter?、Um, and that was something that was advice that I took with me. Fantastic. So,、uh, this notion of technology and、uh, family history and setting things in the near future, I thought that was also a very interesting choice. You usually see something far more. Futuristic,、um, but this just being in the very near future, I'm wondering how you came to make that decision with the story. I know, Nihon, this, Mina San, Kuzonji Kadoka, or Kanetsuke, do, eh, Okuna, my name, eh, Okina, Saigai, Dishingate. えー、それ以来何て言うのかなあの日本がとても今元気がないんですねで、えー、特に若い人とこう年寄りの間でねこう対立もあるしあとは日本が得意だったそのテクノロジーの分野でも今とても元気がないので、えー、そういったことをねこうまた取り戻していってほしい元気を取り戻していってほしいというようなメッセージを込めたつもりです。I'm not sure how familiar everyone is with Japan, but、uh, six years ago we had a major、uh, natural disaster, the earthquake and tsunami.、Um, since that time, Japan has really、um, not been the same. It's lost a lot of its spirit.、Um, we see conflicts between different generations, between the young and the old.、Um, and then, even in technology, which is a field that Japan is very strong in,、um, it's been quite sluggish.、Uh, so, part of my motivation was wanting to revive、uh, this energy of Japan, have it return to the Japan that it was. And when you were developing this, did you have a sense of how very timely these stories would be? A lot of these stories about 
manufacturing, about self-driving cars, about different um, intrigues going on, if you will, um, it, it seems very of the moment. So I'm just curious if that was happening as you were finalizing the film, or if this was something that turned out to be very prescient. アイディアは uh, the initial idea came about four years ago. Um, I had the idea, but not how I wanted to develop the story, so it actually took these last couple of years to develop it. あと、ちょうど日本でオリンピックを一度ですね、やるというのが決まったので、そのタイミングぐらいでこのアイディアがまとまってきた感じですね。Uh, uh, and then it was decided that Japan would be having the Olympics uh, coming up in 2020, so that was something that also helped uh, bring together the time and I really want to open it up to questions, so if there's anyone that is ready to pose questions, please we welcome you to come down to the microphone. We have, we have lots of questions in the way, so please. <laughs> Very exciting. You were holding back, but now we see you all thrilling. Please, go ahead. Uh, Kamiyama-san, thank you so much for coming so far to be here. An incredible movie. You mentioned how you wanted to revive Japan's technological spirit. I guess from a, like from humanity's perspective, what are your hopes for technology in the future, how we can approach it as it's human beings? Thank you, sir. え、この映画でも書いたんだけども、え、ハードウェアが得意な国で、え、ソフトウェアに関して今すごく遅れてきてしまってるんですね。でも若い人たちは今ソフトウェアにそんなに抵抗がなくてですね。でもなかなか若い
女の子にしたかったんですねでもあの僕もそうだったんだけどティーネイジャーの頃って毎日とても眠かったんですね<笑>で,でもこう自分がこう見てて夢っていうかねあのアニメとかハリウッド映画とかから受けたそういうのをこう毎日本当のことと夢へとこう混同しながらこう自分が子供の頃暮らしてたそれがこう今でも自分に影響してると思ってるのであのそういう発想からもしかしたら、えー、現実に。子供の頃見てた夢が現実になったら面白いなみたいな。Um, so I wanted to create a, a main character, the female main character who had a lot of dreams, and she was actually similar to me when I was young, in that I was always、um, very tired every day when I was a teenager.、Um, but at the same time, I also had a lot of dreams. I had a lot of inspiration from、um, anime and then also from Hollywood films. So I thought it was interesting how,、um, in my head as well, those images were mixed together、um, to have them、uh, be depicted as mixed together in this film as well, like when I was a child.、Um, I think that this still influences me as an adult.、Um, so I thought it would be a cool idea to mix them together to have the dreams come together with the real world. Why'd you want to, why'd you choose these characters for, to play these characters? Ah, don't know, all the characters? For all the characters? Ah, ah, no. Do you want to go? 僕の身の回りにいるねあの女の子だったり会社で勤めてる人だったりを少しずつこうモデルにして作ったりしてます。So I looked at the people around me,、um, maybe the girls or women around me, some of the people who I worked with, and then I used them as models, but then I changed them a little bit to create these characters. So, it is obvious that the topic of autonomous driving is in your film. And in some moments, they list out the pros and cons of how self driving vehicles、um, affect our daily lives. So, my question is what is your personal opinion of autonomous driving? And do you think it is worth to have it in the future? あの僕もドライビング大好きなんですけどあの日本は今すごく渋滞で困ってるんですねでおそらくニューヨークもものすごく渋滞してると思うんであのできれば自動運転が実現するといいなと思ってます。Um, I personally love to drive, but in Japan we actually have a really big problem with traffic. I can imagine it's the same here in the city, in, in New York.、Um, so I think that is a good reason that we, we should have automatic、uh, driving. <laughs> Maybe I can read a book while driving, or you can do other things. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we actually only have a few minutes left, but the great news is that we are going to have a signing event with Mr. Kamiyama right outside the theater. So you all received a chapter of the manga, and he will be present to sign it for you. You can also pose questions. So we're going to just take a couple more questions and then wrap it up, and you're welcome to join us out in the lobby afterwards. So let's have another question here, and then we'll start to move it out. Um, where did you get your idea and inspiration for the scenery, visuals, and where did you get your inspiration and idea for the Colossus and engine heads? Very <laughs> thorough question, thank you. I'm going to 
物語の主人公が住んでいる町はですね、えー、と日本の、えー、岡山というところにあるとても静かなあの漁村なんですけどそこちょうど僕が旅をしてた時にそこを偶然見つけてとてもいいとこだなと思ってここ舞台にしたいなと思ったんですねでエンジンヘッドは、えー、僕も自動車をこう改造したりするのがすごく好きだったんであの自動車のエンジンのこうピストンを見てた時にこれはロボットみたいだなと思ってそれが、えー、アイディアになってます。Um, in terms of the setting where the story was, took place,、um, where the main character lives, it's a small, quiet、um, town in a, a prefecture called Okayama.、Um, I actually took a trip there and I happened to stumble upon it and I really liked it. That's a very quiet area.、Um, in terms of the engine heads, I also like、um, playing around with and working on cars. And one time I was looking at the piston, the engine's piston, and I thought it looked like a robot. And that's how I got the idea for the engine heads. ああそうですねあの鬼は。